three phase induction motor construction and working principle a three phase induction motor is a common type of electric motor used in various industrial and commercial applications it operates on the principles of electromagnetic induction and consists of two main parts the stator and the rotor here is an overview of the construction and working principle of a three phase induction motor construction stator the stator is the stationary part of the motor and consists of laminated iron cores with slots to hold the stator windings the stator windings are typically designed for three phase ac power and are evenly spaced around the inner circumference of the motor rotor the rotor is the rotating part of the motor there are two main types of rotors used in three phase induction motors squirrel cage rotor this is the most common type of rotor it consists of a set of laminated iron cores with aluminum or copper bars short circuited conductors arranged in a cylindrical shape the rotor bars resemble a squirrel cage hence the name wound rotor in this type of rotor the rotor windings are made of insulated wire coils these windings are externally connected to slip rings which allow for external control of the rotor circuit air gap the air gap is the space between the stator and rotor it is a crucial part of the motor where the electromagnetic interaction takes place end bells and bearings the motor is enclosed by end bells that support the rotor and stator and it typically has bearings to facilitate smooth rotation working principle the operation of a three phase induction motor is based on faraday's law of electromagnetic induction here is how it works when three phase ac power is applied to the stator windings a rotating magnetic field is generated the magnetic field rotates due to the phase difference between the three windings this rotating magnetic field induces an electromotive force emf in the rotor according to faraday's law as a result current flows through the rotor conductors in the case of a squirrel cage rotor the rotor bars experience a changing magnetic field which in turn generates a torque the torque causes the rotor to start rotating the rotor's motion follows the rotating magnetic field produced by the stator this continuous interaction between the rotating magnetic field and the rotor conductors causes the rotor to rotate at a speed slightly lower than the synchronous speed of the rotating magnetic field the difference in speed is called slip the direction of rotation of the rotor is such that it tries to catch up with the rotating magnetic field as a result the rotor continuously turns and drives the mechanical load connected to it the speed of the three phase induction motor can be controlled by adjusting the frequency and voltage of the applied ac power these motors are known for their reliability simplicity and robust construction making them suitable for a wide range of industrial applications from fans and pumps to conveyor systems and manufacturing machinery